Hi, my name is Mike Beverly, and uh, I teach guitar here in Chandler, Arizona. You can check out my website from guitar to music.com. Uh, all the information is on my little YouTube page there. But uh, here I'm going to go over the strum to I'm Yours by <clears throat> Jason Mraz here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if you've watched the other videos, then you know the, uh, the chords are ready. So we're going to be using a B, F sharp major, G sharp minor, and then you can play E like this if you want. I mean, a lot of people play it like that, but I'm just keeping my shape like this. Or you can come up here to play E using the A shape. But, uh, alright, I don't want to get into the chords and stuff, I just want to go over the strum. So, all you're going to be doing is... Uh, this is a really great strum to practice, and it's going to help you with your bar chords too at the same time. So, go ahead and make your uh, B chord with this E shape here. And what we're going to do is, first of all, I got to go over the correct way to hold a pick. Okay? <clears throat> a lot of people hold it like this, where they're straight on with it. What you want to do is this is what I always say put your hand out like you're going to shake somebody's hand, right? Pull the trigger, all right? Put the thumb down, and then now your fingers are ready. Put the uh, pick right in the middle there, and this is what you get. Should be looking like that. Your fingers should be parallel to each other, and the pick just sticking out like that. Now you can choke up on the pick and have just a little bit sticking out, or you can move back a little bit so a lot of more of the pick is sticking out. Now depending on how hard you grip a pick, if you have a lot of it kind of sticking out, right? and you grip it light, you're going to get a real light strummy sound, right? It's going to be very, you're going to hear a lot of pick in your strum, but if you choke up on it and you squeeze it a little bit tighter, sometimes your fingers will kind of hit the strings or whatever, but you can kind of hear the difference where it's a little bit warmer and more muted. And especially if I drag my, my palm over the cross of the strings at the same time while I'm strumming. Okay, so a little bit of those techniques are what what uh, Jason Mraz uses in this song to kind of get that very like warm, um, warm kind of strum feel. Okay, so go ahead and make this uh, B chord, B major chord with the E shape. <clears throat> Choke up on your pick pretty far here, so there's only a little bit of it kind of sticking out, right? And that's going to allow us to, when we come down to do this kind of slap, right? <clears throat> We're not really like slapping it hard, but you're coming down to kind of give it this percussive kind of slap rake sound at the same time. So you bring it down, and that way, see how my pick is down here ready to just hit the strings if I want to come up, all right? So I'm going to bring it down rake up, then I'm going to squeeze, and I'm getting that percussive sound because I'm just lightly putting my fingers on the strings here. And this is what I was kind of starting to refer, that's, this is what I was referring to when I was saying <clears throat> it's a great way to practice your bar chords. Because if you can keep the shape of the bar chord, you notice how when you put all your fingers down and you're like getting them all kind of squared away, and you squeeze it, and as long as you're squeezing it, they all kind of stay in place. And then as soon as you let up, they all start to fall apart, right? Usually this finger starts to come straight up, and it's, you know, it's kind of frustrating you. So focus on, and this is what I call the float and squeeze. So you want to squeeze the chord, play it, float it above the strings, not even touching the strings at all. And this is just a cool little technique, right, for getting your fingers to memorize the shape and then you bring it back down, play it, then float it, then bring it back down. Do that about 20 times for a chord and you'll see a huge improvement. <clears throat> but, uh, so, um, so if, if you tell anybody anywhere, you call it the float and squeeze, give me credit, okay? <laughs> but uh, um, in, the, in this song, when we float it, we're leaving it touching the strings so we can get this percussive sound. Otherwise, if we weren't, obviously, all the strings would sound, and that's not quite what we want. So, let them just touch the strings in the shape, 
slap it, kind of rake it down, rake up, then squeeze it, strum down, and strum up. That's it for the entire strum. But we kind of move it a little, it moves pretty quick, and there's a lot of timing you gotta squeeze here. Now the timing, the way it goes per the measure is, we're gonna go one, and, two, and, okay? So one, and two, and three, and four, and. So he's squeezing on two and four, which is opposite compared to what <clears throat> typical like rock and, and pop songs and stuff like that do, um, even though this kind of is a pop song, but typically we, uh, you encounter strumming right at the beginning of the measure, like right on the one of the, of the song. So if we would be like three, three, four, F sharp, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So he's emphasizing where it goes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to play along to the song and you're having tr trouble just playing the, uh, the strum the way that he does it, you can always kind of just go through it like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just keep your hand moving in a downward motion on one, two, three, four. 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 You notice how that, we can't, all those strings ring out, so that's why sometimes you might want to use this E up here because then you can use your left hand to, when you release the pressure a little bit, um, it's muting all the strings so they don't sound instead of having to go like this. All right. Okay, so here it is real slow, and I'm going to gradually speed it up, okay? <clears throat> One, two, three. Ah, let's go slower than that. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three. I messed that up big time. Sorry. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and no other word for it than to put a little sass into it. Alright. that helps, alright? <clears throat>